we've received reports that the orcs are regrouping. Certainly the recent attacks against the internment camps are evidence enough. Agreed. The Horde is on the move. This is absurd. My nation will not stand by and watch as the Horde masses on our very doorstep. The Orcs are not our primary concern here. How many times must I repeat myself? King Terranus, you must heed my warning. This plague that has gripped the Northlands could have dire ramifications. Plague? You wizards are just being paranoid. Let's keep all this in perspective. Even if this plague does pose a threat to us, what are you proposing that we do? It is simple. As I have said, the Kirin Torn are already prepared to place the villages under strict quarantine. I will not institute quarantine without proof of your claims, Ambassador. The people of Lordaeron have suffered enough without becoming prisoners in their own lands. Yet, prisoners they are, good king. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Humanity is in peril. The tides of darkness have come again, and the whole world is poised upon the brink of war. Enough of this. Guards, remove this man. Hear me. The only hope for your people is to travel west, to the forgotten lands of Talon's Travel west. Are you mad? Hold, Ambassador. I don't know who you are or what you believe, but this is not the time for wrangling prophets. Our lands are beset by conflict, but it shall be we who decide how best to protect our people, not you. Now, be gone! I failed humanity once before, and I will not do so again. If you cannot take up this cup, then I shall find another who will. A warning has been given. Their fate is now their own. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terranus sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. As I suspected. It gets worse. They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Stronbrad. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. I need to move against the orc's base immediately. Can you handle Stronbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the orc camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. All these wretches off with the rest of them. Move them out! Bless you, Prince Arthas. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc encampment immediately. 
Never a dull moment. Let's get moving. Ah, good timing, lad. I sent two of my best knights into parley with the orc leader. They should be returning shortly. Damn. These orcs will never surrender. Then let's get in there and destroy the beasts. Remember, Arthas, we are paladins. Vengeance cannot be a part of what we must do. If we allow our passions to turn to bloodlust, then we will become as vile as the orcs. Yes, Uther. Now, if you're feeling up to it, I want you to lead the attack. Me? Well, of course. I'll remain here and ensure that none of the loathsome beasts threaten the camp. I won't fail you. I know you won't, lad. Paladin fool! The warlocks of the Black Rock Clan have spoken. Soon, demons will rain from the sky, and this wretched world will burn. Yes, I've heard this rhetoric before. You orcs will never learn. It was only a mirror image. Damn it, what are these curs up to? The hour of doom approaches. Let this paltry sacrifice appease our demon masters. You sick bastards. You'll never get away with it. You've done well, lad. This was a sound victory. I don't know, Uther. The orcs were sacrificing townsfolk. I think they were trying to summon demons. Have faith, lad. These orcs are trying to hold on to dying traditions. We defeated their demons a long time ago. Let's head for home. It's been a long day. You must be wiser than the king. The end is near! I told you before. I'm not interested in this nonsense. Then I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. That crazed fool's convinced that the world is about to end. I've heard the rumors of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. Prince Arthas, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. We must help her! Stay your blade, Captain. She can take care of herself. Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmore, special agent to the Kirin Tor, and one of the most talented sorceresses in the land. Yeah, it looks like you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Well, I guess we should get underway. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. It 
It's as if the land around that granary is dying. Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. We've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay and chat, but duty calls. That creature looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? What was that? And who is that wizard dressed in black? I believe that the robed man was a necromancer. Obviously, he and his lackeys are behind this plague. Well, it's a good bet we'll find him and the answers we're looking for in Anderhall. Look! It's those cultists who are with the necromancer. What are they doing to that mine? Let's not wait to find out. Attack! Damn these intruders! They must not interfere with the Master's plan. Let's build a base camp here. With those cultists creeping around, I'd rather not head in there without backup. I couldn't agree more. Hello again, children. I am Kel'Thuzad. And I've come to deliver a warning. Leave well enough alone. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Are you responsible for this plague, Necromancer? Is this cult your doing? Yes. I ordered the Cult of the Dam to distribute the plagued grain. But the sole credit is not mine. What do you mean? I serve the Dreadlord, Malganus. He commands the scourge that will cleanse this land and establish a paradise of eternal darkness. And what exactly is this scourge meant to cleanse? Why, the living, of course. His plan is already in motion. Seek him out at Stratholm if you need further proof. Naive fool. My death will make little difference in the long run. For now, the scourging of this land begins. Hearthglen, finally. I could use some rest. It looks like they're preparing for battle. Prince Arthas, during the night, a vast army of undead warriors emerged and began attacking villages at random. Now it's heading this way. Damn it. Jaina, I'll stay here to protect the village. Go as quickly as you can and tell Lord Uther what's happened. But... Go, Jaina. Every second counts. Wait, what did those crates contain? Just a grain shipment from Anderhall. There's no need to worry, my lord. It's already been distributed amongst the villagers. Oh no. The plague was never meant to simply kill my people. It was meant to turn them into the undead. Defend yourselves! Light, give me strength. Oh, Lord of Rings, this for the king! Uther, your timing couldn't have been better. Don't celebrate yet, son. This battle's far from over. Ah. 
I'm surprised that you kept things together as long as you did, lad. If I hadn't arrived just then... Look, I did the best I could, Uther. If I'd had a legion of knights riding at my back, I would have... Now is not the time to be choking on pride. What we faced here was only the beginning. The undead ranks are bolstered every time one of our warriors falls in battle. Then we should strike at their leader. I'll go to Stratholm and kill Malganus myself if I have to. Easy, lad. Brave as you are, you can't hope to defeat a man who commands the dead all by yourself. Then feel free to tag along, Uther. I'm going. With or without you. Greetings, young prince. We must talk. I have no time for this. Listen to me, boy. This land is lost. The shadow has already fallen, and nothing you do will deter it. If you truly wish to save your people, lead them across the sea. To the west. Flee? My place is here, and my only course is to defend my people. Then your choice is already made. Just remember, the harder you strive to slay your enemies, the faster you'll deliver your people right into their hands. I'm sorry for concealing myself, Arthas. I just wanted to... Don't say it. I sense tremendous power about him, Arthas. Maybe he's right. Maybe he does know what will happen. Nothing he can say will make me abandon my homeland, Jaina. I don't care if that madman has seen the future. Let's go. Glad you could make it, Uther. Watch your tone with me, boy. You may be the prince, but I'm still your superior as a paladin. As if I could forget. Listen, Uther. There's something about the plague you should know. Oh no. We're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. This entire city must be purged. What?! How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey that command even if you were. Then I must consider this an act of treason. Treason? Have you lost your mind, Arthas? Have I? Lord Uther. By my right of succession and the sovereignty of my crown, I hereby relieve you of your command and suspend your paladins from service. Arthas, you can't just... It's done! Those of you who have the will to save this land, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my sight. You've just crossed a terrible threshold, Arthas. Jaina? I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't watch you do this. I've been waiting for you, young prince. I am Malganus. As you can see, your people are now mine. I will now turn this city, household by household, until the flame of life has been snuffed out forever. I won't allow it, Malganus. Better that these people die by my hand than serve as your slaves in death. We're going to finish this right now, Malganus. Just you and me. Brave words. Unfortunately for you, it won't end here. Your journey has just begun, young prince. Gather your forces and meet me in the Arctic land of Northrend. 
It is there that we shall settle the score between us. It is there that your true destiny will unfold. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! I can't believe Arthas could have done this. Jaina! Jaina Proudmore! Lord Uther? Ah, Jaina. I thought I might find you here. Where has he gone, girl? Where has Arthas taken the fleet? He came to me before he left. I pleaded with him not to go. I told him it sounded like a trap. Where? Northrend. He's gone to Northrend to hunt Morganis. Damn that boy. I've got to inform King Terranus. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself, girl. You had nothing to do with this slaughter. The dead in this land might lie still for the time being, but don't be fooled. Your young prince will find only death in the cold north. You! Arthas is only doing what he believes is right. Commendable as that may be, his passions will be his undoing. It falls to you now, young sorceress. You must lead your people west to the ancient lands of Kalimdor. Only there can you combat the shadow and save this world from the flame. This is a light forsaken land, isn't it? You can barely even see the sun. This howling wind cuts to the bone and you're not even shaking. My lord, are you all right? Captain, are all my forces accounted for? <clears throat> Nearly. There were only a few ships that... Very well. Our first priority is to set up a base camp with proper defenses. There's no telling what's waiting for us out there in the shadows. Ah, a gold mine. We'll set up our base there. We're under attack. Take cover! Bloody hell! You're not undead! You're all alive! Muradin? Muradin Bronzebeard, is that you? Damn, boy! I never imagined that you'd be the one to come to our rescue! Rescue? Muradin, I, I didn't even know you were here. Oh, well, just the same, lad. I, I could use your help. My mates and I were attacked and we got separated. I'd appreciate any backup you could give me. Of course I'll help Muradin. Let's move. All right, Muradin. What were you doing up here anyway? Well, lad, there's an ancient way gate that lies somewhere in this glacial wasteland. Supposedly, it transports you to a hidden vault where a rune blade named Frostmorn is held. We came here to recover Frostmorn, but the closer we came to finding the way gate, the more undead we encountered. Prince Arthas, we haven't found any trace of Malganus. No matter. He can't hide from me forever. Captain, I want you to establish this site as our primary base. Yes, my lord. I apologize, Emissary, but the Prince is away on an errand. What brings you to this desolate place? 
by royal edict. You men are to return to Lord Aron immediately. Lord Uther has convinced the king to recall this expedition. <laughs> We're to just pick up and leave? <sighs> That's correct. My men report that the roads from here to the shore are held by the undead. You'll need to find an alternate route back to your ships. To hell with the undead! We'll cut our way through the woods, men! Captain, why are the guards not at their posts? Well, my lord, your father had our troops recalled at Lord Uther's request. Uther had my troops recalled? Damn it! If my warriors abandon me, I'll never defeat Malganus! The ships must be burned before the men reach the shore. Isn't that a bit much, lad? Burn down to their frames! No one goes home until our job here is done. Prince Arthas? Quickly, my warriors! These murderous creatures have burned our ships and robbed you of your way home. Slay them all in the name of Lord Aron. Damn beasts! Kill them all! <laughs> Our ships are ruined. What will we do now? Listen to me, all of you. There is no way home for any of us safe through victory. In this land, we will stand or fall together. Now, return to the base and man your posts. You lied to your men, and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all that's important to you? Oh, spare me, Muradin. You weren't there to see what Malganus did to my homeland. The Dark Lord said you would come. This is where your journey ends, boy. Trapped and freezing at the roof of the world, with only death to sing the tale of your doom. This looks bad. We're completely surrounded. There's still one chance. Help me claim Frostmourne. If it's as powerful as you said, it might tilt the scales in our favor. I have a bad feeling about this, lad. But I promised I'd see this through. Captain, I'll leave you to organize our defense. Let's move out. Turn back, mortals. Death and darkness are all that await you in this forsaken vault. I doubt there's anything down here more terrifying than what we've faced already. Believe what you will, boy. You shall not pass. Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frostmourne. Hold, lad. There's an inscription on the dais. It's a warning. It says... Whomsoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Oh, I should have known. The blade is cursed. Let's get the hell out of here. I would gladly bear any curse to save my homeland. Oh, l leave it be, Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Now, I call out to the spirits of this place. 
I will give anything or pay any price if only you will help me save my people. Where is Muradin? We can't hold out for much longer. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmourne. So, you've taken up Frostmourne at the expense of your comrades' lives, just as the Dark Lord said you would. You're stronger than I thought. You waste your breath, Malganus. I heed only the voice of Frostmourne now. You hear the voice of the Dark Lord. He whispers to you through the blade you wield. What does he say, young human? What does the Dark Lord of the Dead tell you now? He tells me that the time for my vengeance has come. What? He can't possibly mean to- It is finished.
shall fall. And from the ashes shall arise a new order that will shake the very foundations of the world.